Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at the uh, Daisy Snake mod and <laughs> we're going to be looking at how to install it on a local server first and then on a remote <laughs> community server as well with uh, a Nitrado one. Now these Daisy Snakes by Hunter, another amazing mod. Um, they, they're quite dangerous. They will bite you and infect you and you need the... Um, anti-chem injector, the POEX injector, uh, and you need to disinfect your wound as well, I think, if you get bitten one of, by one of these things. So they're very dangerous. So if you see one, you'll want to <laughs> you'll want to either kill it or get away. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately is the case, once they're dead, you can't do anything with them. You can't eat them or anything like that. But these are early days for the mod, so that may well change. <laughs> <laughs> so, without further ado, let's look at how you install this mod on your uh, local server. So, first things first, you want to go to find the Daisy Snake on the Daisy Workshop in Steam. I'll put a link in the description below the video, and you'll want to subscribe to that. It doesn't rely on other mods, doesn't have any other dependencies as well. And as always, whenever you do anything like this, have a look through the description and have a look through the change notes or if there's a discussion page as well just to see if anybody's having any problems with the mod because going forward what happens is as daisy updates often it will break mods or mean things have to change and uh, so before we go in let me just quit out of daisy here because we're going to need to be exited from this let's quit out of that there we go so we subscribe to the mod now what we want to do is we want to get it working on, on our local server. So what we want to do is go into the launcher, and then if you go into the mod section, if you click on any of the little arrows on the right and the little three dots and say open folder in Windows Explorer, this will take you to the workshop folder for your DayZ installation. Not your workshop, but your DayZ installation. And in there you will find the mod. So here we have DayZ Snake, so we can copy that and then we need to find our workshop folder generally it is in the same folder as your daisy installation so for me it's in c program files x86 steam steam apps common and there it is daisy server so we can go in here and we simply paste the uh, daisy snake uh, facts let's just stop that uh, daisy snake mod and there it is and what you want to do is if you go into the mod then go into snake territories and open this text file here which at the moment is called snake types events um, it should really be called readme i think because it has the instructions on how to install the mod now this is slightly different to the previous hunter animal mods the rabbit the uh cat the what else did we do the squirrel as well in the fact that this mod this uh, mod is it's not a ambient animal this, like like hens are this one is is an animal so there's we do a couple of different things um, and basically what we need to do is we need to into our events.xml copy that text snippet there into our types.xml copy that snippet there into our cfg environment xml copy those two snippets and into our cfg event spawns.xml we need to copy those okay but first off what we want to do is we want to get out of the mod here we go we want to get the key so if we go into day z snake go into the keys folder copy the key go up up Go into the keys folder of your server. Now, if you've installed any other of Hunter's animal mods or any of his other mods, the key will already be there, so you get an error like I did there, so don't worry about that. Then what we want to do is we want to go into the mod again, Daisy Snake, go into Snake Territories. Now, I'm installing this on a Chernera server, so I'm going to go into the Chernera section, copy Snake Territory. I'm going to copy that. Up, up, up. Now we're going to go into the missions folder, MP missions of our local server. Go into Chernus Plus. We're going to go into the ENV folder, and that's where we would paste that one. You can see Snake Territory is already there, and so that's the file that tells the server where the snake should be spawning, where you <laughs> where you want to avoid. So what we need to do now is we need to follow the instructions. So the first thing is we need to put something in events, don't we? So let's find our events.xml. So. 
So we go into the MP missions, we go into Chenerous, and we go into the DB folder. And there's events, so we edit with Notepad++. And what we need to do is copy that section there. So you copy that. As you can see, I've already copy and pasted it into the top of my server, so Animal Snake. So the actual specs for this is there's going to be six snakes spawning around the server at any one time probably so they're quite rare but that's good because they are very dangerous because the problem with the problem with it is that the antidote is very rare as well so basically if you get bit one of these by one of these things you're probably gonna die there's a funny joke there somewhere as well so next we need to go into our types.xml so we need to find that so that is going to be in our db folder and there it is. And then what we want to do, <coughs> excuse me, I've recorded a few videos today, so I'm a bit dry. Copy that, go into our types. As you can see, I've already pasted it in, type animal equals snake. Remember, this is spawned in by an event, so it has no nominal. But if we didn't put this in there, the snakes wouldn't have any persistence. Then we need to go into cfgenvironment.xml, which is in the root directory for the mission. So this is the mission, so CFG environment, edit with, notepad plus, edit with notepad plus plus, as we say. And so we have got to add this bit here, file path equals env snake territories.xml. So we want to put this, see these are all them here. So you know, I've added some of the other uh, animal mods already. So we're just going to make a little bit of space there and we're just going to paste that one there. And then we need to add the territory. So we copy that. So territory type equals herd name equals snake. So if we just go down here, you can see you've got all these herd, herd, herd. So these are deer, cow, all that sort of bear. So we're going to put it underneath bears. So we'll put it there. Territory type is herd, type is snake. We're going to save that. So that's it. So the final bit of uh, code we need to add is this in the CFG event spawns.xml. This is the different bit. Um, and if we go up, and go into CFG event spawns and we edit that with notepad plus plus all we need to do is copy event name equals at, ooh, event name equals animal snake as you can see I've already pasted it in to there so that's good to go just make sure everything's saved okay now in order for the local server to start with uh, the snakes running we need to make sure we edit our batch file your dot bat file your windows batch file now your batch file for your local server might look different to this in terms of format but it will have a start line somewhere on it and we need to make sure that in the mod section which you can see here we have a semicolon at daisy dash snake or if daisy snake was the only mod you were running it would just be at daisy dash snake like that so as you can see we've just added the name of the mod to the end of the mod line so we've got a semicolon at daisy dash snake and then save that and what i do is that i have different batch files for almost every different map and mod combination i want so i can easily fire into test different things this is especially useful because sometimes you will have uh, conflicts between mods so if you just had like one server with with, with one batch file to which you um, added all your potential mods to when you were testing them out before you uploaded them to community servers there could well be problems and they could well be as I say there could be conflicts between them too I always like to make sure it works on a local server which has the minimum amount of mods and for me the minimum amount of mods are the admin mods so which tends to be vanilla plus plus and zombie so I can teleport around the map and sort of see spawns and things like that so once you've saved that as you can see here all I would have to do is double click on my batch file and um, it would start and we would have daisy snake on my local community server so next let's look at installing daisy snake on a remote community server so on a remote community server and we're going to be using a nitrado server as an example for this one um, and we're going to be using filezilla as the ftp program so i'm kind of relying on the fact that you, you're a little bit familiar with uh, using an FTP program. You know, this isn't the first mod you've installed, but maybe you're a bit rusty, and that's why you need to watch this video uh, as a step-by-step. -step. So, first things first, you don't want to click on that button. <laughs> first things first, you want to make sure that 
in the steam in steam in the steam workshop you subscribe to daisy snake as you can see there are no dependencies which is very very good and then go into the launcher and the launcher will then download the mod to your local computer and we just need to find it find out where it is so next to any of the mods if you just click on this little arrow on the right hand side and click on the three dots and click on open folders folder in windows explorer this will take you into your workshop folder for daisy where all your mods sit waiting to be used and as you can see we've got daisy snake down here so what you want to do first is just go into here go into snake territories and open up this um a text file edit with notepad plus plus in my case and this is a very simple it's not really instructions but it gives us the list of uh xml snippets that we need to add to the to add to the files on our server so i'm just going to shut some of these down actually just so we can see what we're doing a little bit easier there we go okay so what we can learn from here is that we need to add into our events.xml that event into our types that dot xml we need to add in that snippet into our cfg environment xml we're going to need to add that snippet and that snippet to the right place and in our cfg event spawns dot xml we're going to make sure we add that bit and we need to add all those things otherwise the mod won't work correctly so what we're going to do next is we're going to go to ftp and we're already in the workshop and we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for daisy snake which is there make sure we're in the root directory over here and i'm just going to right click upload <coughs> there we go not too big so it shouldn't take too long he says actually i think oh yeah what happens here where i am our internet is really rubbish and when it rains the internet gets even worse so i'm just gonna while we're waiting for this to upload i'm just gonna open a can this is very rude isn't it on a pre-recorded video normally people would edit this stuff out but if you know my channel by now most of my videos are all one and done, one one take things. I don't really do editing. I hope everybody's having a good day. Oh yeah, oh, I love Pep. Don't, don't you love Pepsi Max? Okay, so it's almost done. For you, this will just take a couple of seconds. My internet connection is, yeah, it's really, really, really slow at the moment. So Daisy Snake has now been uploaded. Now what we need to do now is add the key so if we open up daisy snake on our local server our local computer sorry go into the key folder and scroll scroll down on our community server on the right and open up the key folder we'll see we've got these keys so we can just left click on this key here and upload if you've already installed any of hunter's mods that key will already be there and you'll get an error message like that okay so the next thing we need to do is we need to edit the XMLs as we just saw in that little readme file. So what we want to do is on the right hand here, we want to go into the missions. We want to click on Daisy Offline Churneris Plus. And if we scroll down and we go back here, we'll see that there was CFG events boards and CFG environment. We're going to do those first because they're the first ones we come across uh, in the root directory of the mission, making sure we're in Daisy Offline Churneris Plus. So where we got? Uh, cfg environment.xml so we're going to right click and within filezilla we can actually edit stuff um, which makes things very easy so i can just go view edit it's going to open this up on my local computer and i can just go oh okay so what we need now is we need this file here this snippet here sorry that's file path equals env snake territories.xml and we just need to make sure we're just going to paste it underneath the bare ones like so there we go and then we need this bit here which is the herd property and we're just going to scroll down and we're going to put that underneath the bear territories here like so and we're going to save that and filezilla is going to say this has changed do you want me to re-upload it we're going to say yes and then the other one was cfg event spawns so if we edit this and scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see these are the little entries for the animal events that aren't ambient events so the hens don't appear here and then what we do is we can just take that little snippet there so we copy that paste that nice and carefully in there save that 
go back to FileZilla. FileZilla will say, this has changed. You want me to re-upload it? We say, yes, please, if you wouldn't mind. Next thing we need to edit is the types.xml and the events.xml. Now, these are in the DB directory here. So we can actually open that up there, and they'll appear here. So let's do events first. So view and edit. So event name equals animal snake. Ooh, we don't want all of that. We just want that bit. So we're just going to copy that. Go into events. And we're just going to paste it at the top. That's good. Save that. Go back to FileZilla. FileZilla is going to upload it for us. Thank you very much, FileZilla. Types, view, edit. And then we go back to our little file here. And this is what we need to add in. Ooh, let's do it quickly. Copy. I'm just going to put it right at the top. Up here. Save that. FileZilla is going to say, that's been updated. Do you want me to upload it? So that's good. So now what we need to do, we need to put the um, territory file in the correct place as well. So if we open up the Daisy Snake mod on the left, go into Snake Territories, go into Chernerus, and then here on the right hand side, if we go into ENV, this is where all the territories are, then we can just left click over here, right click, upload. That will then come over to here and Snake Territories are there. Now we're almost there. What we need to do now is we need to make sure that when our server starts, it starts with the Snake mod. And we do that by, on Nitrider anyway, going to the general settings and scrolling down. Now it could be that on your server, on your host provider, that you have access to the Windows batch file or the .bat file that starts your server. If you do, it, it might look something similar to this. Um, it might look different, but it will have a start line somewhere. And within that start line, you'll get a mod line like this. Might not have the inverted commas around it. And you need to make sure that on that mod line, you have at daisy dash snake. Okay, so what we're gonna do though, is because on Nitrado, they don't give us access to that. We, get, we have to put it in this additional mods line. I'm just gonna make sure we've got at daisy dash snake there now on my servers i tend to always have community framework zombie admin tools and vpv admin tools because a lot of the stuff i uh, uh what i work around is installing and testing mods and making videos about mods so i have to be able to find things and that's why i have those admins on there as well um and then i just have a semicolon uh, at daisy snake then all we do is we just save that Wait for it to work. Again, the internet is very, very slow where I am at the moment. And then what we would do is we would click restart server. And that would restart. And then from now on, there would be snakes spawning in around the server. Please, please, please make sure that if it's on a community server, you tell your players. <laughs> because these things come after you and they attack you. Also, remember, I'm recording this video at the beginning of... Uh, April 2023 I'm sure this the mod will change over time so if there are any other changes keep an eye on them on the workshop big thank you to Hunter for creating these amazing animal mods they bring so much to the immersion of Daisy um, and if you've enjoyed this video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course I'll see you again soon